A University of KwaZulu Natal engineering professor who is lauded for his use of artificial intelligence to improve systems is attending Expo 2020 in Dubai in an effort to exchange ideas on how to improve those initiatives through machine learning and other mathematical models. He has created systems that improve access to water, increase the rate of graduation students and help reduce industrial waste. As Newsroom Africa's Zianda Ngobo reports. Artificial intelligence is a key component of the fourth industrial revolution and in South Africa this is a conversation that is consistently undergoing and you know one of the institutions that is doing a lot of work in this regard is the University of Guazila Natal and I'm joined by Professor of Engineering Randil Rawatlao. You're here in Dubai to meet with some people about artificial intelligence and some of the strides that you have made. Uh, you were telling me that AI is used even as a part of the university system at UKZN? Yes, uh, we developed a system to help advise students on a better chance towards graduation. So an AI helper, if you like, that uh, looks at your situation, advises you how better to focus your studies and uh, improve your chance of success. What measures are you putting in place to close the gap between those students, believe it or not, in 2022, who may not be as tech savvy as others um, because of the disparities in our education system, who may not be as tech savvy as other students, to be able to fully utilize then this AI so that you ensure that even they are onboarded and that their, their prospects of graduation are increased? So if uh, there are students who are not so tech savvy, as you say, in, in using advanced languages, still everybody knows how to go online today and using Facebook and Twitter and things like that. So what we see is that many people now produce their applications that are more familiar to students. So produce it in a form that's very accessible, that uh, students are used to. Uh, going to a particular place and looking for a particular thing. So we tend to improve the designs on the front end and at the back end where the education content is, we look at uh, importing that at the right stages. Mm. Tell me about some of the projects that have been using artificial intelligence in South Africa that have made these projects yield much more efficient um, and quality results. So if you look at the reason that we are here at the Expo, uh, we've developed a system that improves the accuracy of drilling boreholes. So by current methods, uh, there's only an accuracy of about 25%, whereas when you use artificial intelligence, you can improve that to around 80%. That means that instead of losing something like a billion rand a year on bad boreholes, we are able to improve the drilling uh, to a much greater extent and so improve the access to water. Um, there are other applications of that in agri-planning and uh, what's called the circular economy, where you look at the waste streams and byproducts from one industry being reincorporated into the economic cycle as, uh, as raw materials in another industry. So there's a whole interesting uh, uh, paradigm shift now in how we work with materials. What other sectors could we see using artificial intelligence, you've, you've spoken about agri-planning, um, you know, uh, borehole drilling, universities, which other ones do you believe at this stage would desperately need artificial intelligence to improve their systems? Well, in fact, it's already integrated in virtually everything that you see. It's just that, uh, like I mentioned earlier, when you design the interfaces, you make them so user-friendly that people don't really know there's artificial intelligence going on in the back end. And that starts to raise ethical questions because sometimes the advising is so powerful that people stop questioning the validity of the advising that they are receiving. And these methods are not 100% accurate, and we quite often talk about the high accuracies that we work at, and, and that's all true. But at the same time, you still have to consider the ethical implications of what you are doing. So all of these are some of the issues that are surfacing today and that we are grappling with now. Mm, certainly an interesting topic to be grappling with, especially since as we've been uh, speaking about over the last couple of days, technology important, but human beings need to still be moving 
at, at a parallel pace with this technology. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Ziandang Nobot reporting from Expo 2020, Dubai.